Hello everybody, it's Ronnie with Whip and Chain. I work alongside Maggie and Lauren to bring you fun crochet tutorials. Today is a simple one. I want to show you how to attach your yarn to a dish towel. Now these are actually used with acrylic yarn because you're not using it for anything hot. Uh, you can do it in con if you'd like. Um, but you're gonna probably need a bigger hook to get the stitches that you need. But I just used a Halloween dish towel. So you need a button. You will need a tape measure. You will need a darning needle. You will need a marker. And you will need a pair of scissors. And a button. Don't get scared. This is actually pretty easy. So let's just dive into it, okay? So first things first, you need your dish towel. So what I need you to do, I need you to completely open your dish towel, long ways, like that, and I need you to fold it in half. And get it as even as possible. If you want to um, hit this with an iron to seal the, the seam here, you're welcome to. But it's not required. Okay, so I need you to get your tape measure out. And I need you to lay it. It has to be in inches. Lay it out nice and flat. Get your marker and I need you to make a line every half inch and if you're I want to make huge lines because you don't want it that you don't want it noticeable okay so just a little line every half inch Or you can even do a dot. And now, please count your dots because you need 31. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I only got 30. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, 30. So I'm going to add one more right there. All right, that's all you need the marker for. Now, I want you to choose your yarn, like I said, acrylic, but you need to pull the yarn from both ends. So make sure you're, you pick a skein that you can do that. But right now, I want you to take your yarn. And gather up eight lengths of this uh, dish towel. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, and I always give myself just a little extra to be safe. And cut that. Now get a needle 
I try to use the sharpest one and the smallest one that I can find. And you need to thread the hook. This is one of my hardest tasks on projects. I'll be right back. I'm telling you, sometimes I struggle with threading a needle. So you want to find the other end. Give yourself like a five inch tail, six inch, whatever, and tie a knot. And then stretch out your yarn. Make sure there we go. Now the hardest part to this is getting started. So don't feel discouraged. Okay. Right. You take her hook, go in between the back, pull it through. There we go. try to do and get started your tail here if you lay it across and keep it up you might be able to sew over it if you so choose okay so wrap your yarn over And then you want to go through the back and up through the front. So what I do, because it's hard getting through that seam first. Once I'm through, I find that hole that I created in the first one. Make sure you're going through this right hole. There we go. Now. Now just tighten it. Make sure it's going over the top. Okay. Now take your yarn and go under that loop that you just created on top. All right, so now make sure you loop this around. Like I'm right handed, so I'm looping it all the way over to my left. And I pick this up and I go through the next hole and bring it up around the loop because you want to create that chain on the top. So 
see. So yarns over to my left. And do it again. Keep doing this all the way to the end. Like I said, it's, it's really the getting started part. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you at the end. Okay. I am coming down towards my end. I'm going into my last one here. Pretty, huh? So then I'll, I will strongly suggest that you go in this back hole, come through. And just weave this in now. And then it's one less thing that you honestly got to worry about later. Okay. And cut. And I will suggest you just leave this yarn on this needle for later. Let's see if I can find my crochet hook. I don't think I told you guys what crochet hook we were working with, but we're working with a five millimeter crochet hook. Okay. Okay. Now remember earlier in the video, I said we're going to be working with both strands of yarn. So the yarn that's on the outside, I just try to take off a bunch of yarn so I'm not picking it up a hundred times through my project. And then the center pull will just pull as I need it. That's me. That's what I do. You do what works for you. Okay. So. So with both, both ends, create a slip knot. Put your hook through the top first bar. Tight, tighten it up. Pull through. Chain one. And now chain three. One, two, and three. And each bar will get one double crochet. So just one double crochet in each bar and I'll meet you at the end. Now, I'm coming down my last couple of bars. Okay, 
it will bunch up. That's what it's supposed to do. Okay, turn your work. Chain three. One, two, and three. That does count as a double crochet. So in the next stitch, put another double crochet. In the next stitch, we're going to do two together. So wrap your hook, go in, grab some yarn, and go through two. Wrap your hook, go into the next one, grab some yarn, wrap your hook, go through your hook. You have three loops, wrap, and go through all three. Now again, then we put one double crochet each in the next two stitches. And then, again, two together. Throw. Okay. And then, do two double crochets. And then, two together. You're understanding the pattern, I hope. Two double crochets. And then two together. Always make sure you're keeping your two strands. Now when you do this pattern, the ending of this will not always work out for you, but that's expected, that's okay. Don't forget your chains on the end. Okay. And turn your work. We're going to keep doing that same pattern each row until you have nine stitches left. Now, if you go to 7 or you go to 8 but you can't get to 9, just take out one of your two together and then you'll get 9. Don't stress, it's not going to hurt the pattern at all. But just keep weaving it down until you're getting close to 9 and then start counting. And I'll see you back there. Okay, how are you guys making it out? Good, I hope. So let's count how many stitches I got left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, I'm really going to do, obviously, one decrease in this row. And this is why I wanted to pop on so you could see. I'll probably do it in the middle somewhere so it's not a big deal. I'm going to 
just single crochet until I feel like I'm in the middle because I just got to decrease one more stitch and I'll do it right here And then just single crochet, I mean double crochet, rest it away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What the heck? Chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Oh, sure. So now I just need you to double crochet one in each one for four rows, four rows of nine. Okay, so all you have to do is chain three and then double crochet over like this for four rows. All right, I'll see you at the end of four rows. Okay, this is what this should look like so far. The next row we're going to do is our button, our buttonhole. Make sure when we, you do your hole on this, make sure your button goes through. Okay, so a chain three. And do a double crochet in the next three. One, two, three, chain one, skip one, and then double crochet. The rest of the way over. Okay, turn your work, one more row, chain three, one, two, and three, and just double crochet all the way over. When you're going over that hole. Just go into that hole and do your double crochet. your yarn and pull. All right. There we go. All right. So now pick a button. Pick a button. Pick a button. I think I'm gonna go with this white one. I think I have too many choices. I think I need to buy more buttons. All right. Remember when I said to leave your yarn on your hook? There we go. Now, I like to sew my button on in about one to third row. And I try to find the center. And 
put that button where you'd like it. Now when you're sewing your button on, make sure you're going through the stitches and not in between them. I do it in an X. You can do it any way that you want, any way that you like. Take your time. Well, I guess I'm not making an X. I'm gonna be okay. That's really okay. Just make sure the button's on there nice and tight. And what I do, I actually just knot the button. And then you, obviously you got to weave in your ends, but then there's your button, and then when you hang it, it just crunches up a little bit. That's what it's supposed to do. And there she is. Fun, easy, simple. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, can you please hit that like and subscribe button down at the bottom and come find us on Facebook under WIP for work in progress and chain. Until our next video, happy crocheting.